Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 13 through 20, where it is written, Enter through the narrow gate. The gate is wide, and the road is easy that leads to destruction, and there are many who take it. For the gate is narrow, and the road is hard that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you'll know them by their fruits. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Scary. The road is wide and easy, but it leads to destruction. The one that leads to eternal life is narrow and hard. And that's really the error, error of our society today, the misunderstanding. They think, I'm not doing anything outright evil. I'm not cheating on my spouse. I'm not stealing money. I'm not doing fill in the blank of terrible things. I'm not doing bad stuff. I'm covered. Here's the truth. Indifference and not caring about God is just as bad as outright evil. Nah, I'm okay. I don't need to do anything just as destructive as uh, committing felonies. You have to be out there loving God and loving your neighbor. You have to be immersed in the word and the sacrament. You have to be repent of the things you do wrong. Only in that fervent life and faith and repentance and charity do you know you're walking the narrow road towards life. Because the tree and its fruit, it, it's such a, a point on metaphor. You don't need to do this in-depth scientific examination and give a really long explanation of, is this good or bad? Hmm, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's bad. Pretty easily, pretty immediately you can see which is which, you know. And that's the point. Those that follow Jesus will have fruit in their lives. Those that don't, that follow the world, oh, they'll have fruit, <laughs> but uh, it'll be the bad stuff. This is meant to terrify. This is meant to let us know it's not just, I think the right thing, I say the right doctrines, I'm covered, why would I care? Oh, trust me, you should care. This is no joke, this is your eternal life. Faith must have fruit or it's not faith. Jesus here is being honest and that's time to expose the world yeah, I'm not doing any harm I'm okay it doesn't work you gotta be out there loving God and loving your neighbor that should be our goal for this week pray that God guides, guides us to do just that while we're here let's close with a prayer on that Lord help us to turn away from the easy road and walk your road God though it may be hard to love you and love others, and so the fruit harvest may be well. Amen.